In Romans chapter 10, verse 11. Romans chapter 10, verse 11. The Bible says, For the scripture said, Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. Whosoever believeth on him shall not be ashamed. When you believe in Christ, you and the members of your family will not be put to shame in Jesus' name. Shout this prayer point. Every evil hand, taking off clothes from my body, return it in the name of Jesus. Every evil hand, taking off clothes from my body, return it now in the name of Jesus. Every evil hand, taking off clothes from my body, return it now. In Jesus' name, it is done. Amen. Hello, viewers across the world. You are watching Evangelist Joshua TV. We are looking on a topic. Do the seven steps and that nakedness dream will stop. Do the seven steps and that nakedness dream will stop. Did you see yourself being naked in the dream? Or you saw someone you know, someone you don't know, being naked in the dream? So we are going to tell you briefly about the interpretation of a child of God being naked fully or half naked in the realm of the spirit. Nakedness is all about exposure, exposing your body. In the spirit's realm, nakedness is all about exposing your secret life or exposing yourself to danger, exposing yourself to condemnation, and exposing yourself to mockery. Nakedness in the dream is often associated with sin, attacks, pollution, defilement, destruction, shame, disgrace, dryness, downfall, hatred, and above all, punishment. This type of dream can bring about dishonor, insecurity, sickness, death, joblessness, and persecution. Nakedness dream is a sign of warning of so many things. Nakedness is a sign of so many things. Somebody may see herself being naked, and God is using that dream to warn her. Why other people may find himself being naked in a dream, and that person is about to expose so many things about his life, about his plans, about his social story to people. And God is using that dream to be prayerful and to be careful. So we are going to tell you the seven steps or the seven things that you need to do to stop the nakedness in your dream forever. The seven things or the seven steps that you need to do that you need to stop the nakedness dream forever. Number one, hearing and obeying the voice of the Lord. Hearing and obeying the voice of the Lord. When you hear and obey the voice of the Lord, for example, you were disobeying the voice given to you by your pastor. For example, you were disobeying the voice of the elders concerning your marriage, concerning your business, concerning your ministry. You refuse to heed to that warning signs given to you by somebody. For example, you as a woman, your husband has been, you know, instructing you to do this. Your husband has been instructing you to do this and do that, but you are refusing to obey his command in that house. When you refuse to obey, then you will find yourself depreciating in value. You'll be losing your honor. You'll be losing your honor. You'll be losing your respect and your integrity in that marriage. So the same thing happens when we disobey the voice of the Lord. In the Garden of Eden, Adam and Eve disobeyed the voice of the Lord. Because of what? Because of a voice that came to overshadow or to override the voice of God in their life. Because God has given them perfect home. God has matched them together in order for them to, you know, to, to bring forth so many blessings in the world. But because they allowed the voice of other people to overshadow them and they found themselves in trouble. I pray, if you are currently naked in your home, may the mercy of God cover your nakedness in Jesus' name. In Isaiah chapter 30 verse 21, Isaiah chapter 30 verse 21, the Bible says, And thy year shall hear a word behind thee, saying, This is the way, walk in it. When you turn to the right and when you turn to the left, the word has been given from God from your husband, from people. Take this way. If you do this, you will find peace. If you do this, you will find joy. But don't go here. Don't do this. If you do this, you will find problem. You will find issues. But you disobey that voice and you find yourself in a big mess today. When you refuse to listen to people, 
you are gradually opening your garments to allow problems to come in. The reason why you could be seeing yourself naked is because you are not obeying the voice of the Lord. And that's why you are naked in the dream. Nakedness in the dream is a sign of problem. It's a sign that you are not secure. It's a sign of punishment as a result of your sin. God has been telling you, take this way, do this, don't do this, don't do that. But you want to follow your own decision. And that's why you are in problem today. You have been praying, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy, have mercy. You will have the heart of stone. Nobody can correct you. Nobody can correct you. And that's why you are finding yourself in a problem that you cannot even deliver yourself. So you need to ask God for mercy and ask God to give you that grace to listen and to obey his voice and to obey the voice of people that are giving you counsel, giving you advices. It's very important. I pray, may God Almighty cover your shame in Jesus' name. Number two, confess your sin and stay away from it. That's another way of fighting that spirit of shame and disgrace in your life. Sin in your life. And righteousness does not go, does not go together. You must live one and embrace one. So if you have sin in your life, that sin is what is causing nakedness in your life. You must confess it and repent from that sin. The sin of anger, repent from it. The sin of fornication, repent from it. The sin of bitterness, repent from it. The sin of unfaithfulness, repent from it. The sin of envy, repent from it. The sin of malice, repent from it. Those are the things that are causing nakedness in your life. Repent from your sin. Confess your sin to Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, these are my weaknesses. I confess them to you. Grant me the grace to resist them from my life. Grant me the grace to flee from them so that I can live a glorious life. Do you know that if you are able to conquer nakedness in your life, devil cannot manipulate and control you again. But if you are seeing yourself being naked in a dream, it's as a result of the fact that you are living in a particular sin that is exposing you to danger, to problems. So you must confess and repent from it if you must deal with that spirit of nakedness in your life. Number three, pray in quiet prayers to ask God to show you the source of your problems. Pray inquiry prayers to ask God to show you the source of your problems, the source of that nakedness in the dream. Ask God to show you the source. Ask God to show you where it is coming from. Is it as a result of your sin? Is it as a result of where you are staying? Is it as a result of the friend you are moving with? Is it as a result of cause? Is it as a result of environmental factor? Is it as a result of so many things? You need to ask questions and let the Holy Spirit guide you and show you the cause of that problems in your life. And once you can able to know the cause, then find a way to use prayers to tackle it. Tackle those problems. Command the source of that problems to dry up. Pray in quiet prayers. Because there's a problem at hand right now. And you need to use prayers to find solution to that problem. Nakedness. Ask God. Pray to God. God, cover me, O oh God, with a cloth of honor, with a, cloth, with a cloth of glory, with a cloth of respect. Yes, there's a problem. You have been exposed. You are not safe. You are scared. You need prayer to secure yourself, to protect yourself and to block the source of that problems in your life. And as you can take that prayer faithfully, the Lord Almighty will cover your shame and cover that reproach growing in your life in Jesus' name. Number four sign that you need to do to stop nakedness in a dream is ask God to show you mercy and forgiveness. Ask God to show you mercy and forgiveness. The place of mercy is the place of God. I am sorry for my sin. I am sorry, have mercy upon me, forgive me of my sin. The mercy part is the part of God, pardon my sin, forgive me of my sin. Because that nakedness dream is telling you, 
is either you have found yourself in a sin or you have committed something that is, that is trying to implicate you, that is trying to disgrace you. So you need to ask God, God, have mercy upon me. Forgive me of my sins. Cry to God. God, maybe for like seven days, for like three days, my God and my Father, Lord, I want to stop seeing myself being naked in a dream. Lord, I ask for your mercy. Forgive me. I ask for your mercy. Forgive me. I ask for your mercy. Forgive me. And as you can take that confession prayer sincerely, I pray the power of God's mercy and forgiveness will get rid of that nakedness in your dream in Jesus' name. Number five, prayerfully remove the spirit of shame from your life. Prayerfully remove the spirit of shame from your life. Many people carry this spirit of shame. Anywhere they go, it is shame. This bad smell, shame everywhere, bad luck everywhere. Because when you are seeing these things in the dream, it, it, it shows that you have the spirit of shame. This spirit of shame is going everywhere you go. Anyone that sees you will try to avoid themselves from you. Because there's something in you that is chasing them away from meeting you or from drawing closer to you. So you need to pray to tackle that spirit of shame, bad luck, sickness, unprofitable relationship in your life. If you can pray against that spirit of shame and disgrace, that nakedness dream will stop in your life in Jesus' name. Number six, stop wearing indecent dressing. Stop wearing indecent dressing. Indecent dressing. You are a child of God. You are not a child of the world. Let moderation be known in all your habits, in all your lifestyle. Be moderated in your dressing. Stop dressing indecently. Because your dressing indecently can make you insecure. Can make you naked spiritually. Because in the eyes of the Lord, you are naked in this dressing. So if you want to stop that nakedness in your dream, you need to stop the habit of wearing indecent dressing to church. Dress nicely. Dress well. Your dressing attracts the glory of God. When you dress well, you are making yourself presentable to God. Dress well. You don't have to dress to church to distract people. You don't have to dress to some places in order to show that you are, you are this and that. Dress decently and the glory of the Lord will overwhelm you in Jesus' name. Number seven, take prayers of protection. The prayers of protection. Yes, protection. You're not safe. The edge of God's protection in your life has collapsed. You're not safe. Any arrow they throw at you, it can easily penetrate into your life. You're not safe. Because your garment of protection, your armor of God has been taken away. Your garment of joy or protection, your garment, you know, your garment of safety has been taken away. You're not protected. So you need to pray for God to protect you. You need to pray for God to secure you, to keep you safe under his arms. You need to pray for God to bring garments that can protect you, that can cover your shame, cover your problems. So when you are seeing yourself being naked, you need the protection of the Almighty God. I pray for you today. May the Lord Almighty protect you from that problem of life in Jesus' name. I want you to close your eyes. Take prayer for number one loud and clear. Every arrow of shame in my life, die in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of shame in my life, die in the name of Jesus. Every arrow of shame in my life, die in Jesus' name. Two, O Lord my Father, cover my shame in the name of Jesus. O Lord my Father, cover my shame in Jesus' name. Three, anyone that is waiting for my shame, die in the name of Jesus. Anyone that is waiting for my shame, die in the name of Jesus. Anyone that is waiting for my shame, die in Jesus' name. Four, I reject shame and disgrace in my life in the name of Jesus. I reject shame and disgrace in my life. In Jesus' name it is done. Amen. 
I pray that the Lord Almighty will take away shame from your life. In Jesus' name. If this broadcast has blessed you, share it to your friends and family. Once again, this is Evangelist Joshua from Lagos. God bless you.